Welcome back to the NFL Combine. Today at the podium, the defensive backs who are preparing for the 2023 draft. Here's a mashup of their comments. Uh, it's very important to me. I feel like I'm CB1 for a reason. I feel like I'm the best corner here. So I'm just here to really show my talents and prove why. Uh, definitely. I know it's going to take time and hard work to get the trust, like I got the trust with Coach Franklin. But that's what I'm here to do, and I'm willing to do that and sacrifice uh, anything I got to do to get that approval. It took, it took a couple years, but it was great years that I needed. I wanted to leave last year, but it was hard. I had a hard conversation with my parents, and they told me I wasn't ready. And um, I took that and listened to them because my dad's been there before. So uh, I would say just honing in on my skills, getting more in depth with the playbook, and really watching film. Playing different spots in college and coming to the league, and that's still being one of the um, places, like not having a set place. And, you know, they asking me what's my preferred uh, position. And I feel like that's just a blessing because you. A lot of players don't have that uh, opportunity to be as versatile and, you know, they have that set spot. So going to a new team, I can learn different positions and, you know, have a better chance to get on the field faster. Uh, I just like playing ball. So whatever I can do to help a team, you know, where, where they need me, that's where I play. My team uses me as the nickel spot. So having a big nickel, you know, close to the line of scrimmage that can also, you know, help in a, in a pass game is just another big body close to the line of scrimmage and can help in a run for us. But also, you know, you have a good – um, defensive player outside to help with pass game as well. So, it, it, like I said, just an honor and a blessing just to, you know, be able to put myself in positions like this. There's a lot of talk of comparing me to a lot of guys. Um, at the end of the day, I'm myself. Uh, I feel like I'm a original player is what I, I do this sport. I don't like to compare myself to anybody or try to be anybody. I'm um, Jair Brown. I'm going to combine and perform the way I know I can perform and uh, be the best, best version of me. Um, it's just my maturity, I think, you know, my football instincts, my football IQ, football 101, the whole nine, you know, just having a couple extra snaps on the field, you know, being a little bit older, being a little bit more mature um, can kind of set me apart as well as, you know, my leadership skills. I can go into the into the um, into any team and I think, you know, helping the, the young freshmen or uh, rookies kind of help each other kind of lead the way or um, acclimate to whatever new city we're a part of, I think will, you know, set me apart. It's just I'm, I'm going to say again, it's, it's my ability to react. Uh, to what I see and just trust what my eyes are telling me. Um, I think there's an instinct that I have that I just trigger on things and that's something that I trust. Definitely carry a chip for sure. I wouldn't say it's a chip though. Uh, I mean, it, it, it definitely influenced me. It, def it showed me that I need to push for what I want. Um, if I want to go get something, I've got to work for it. I think one thing that kind of, that I, that I love about this sport and throughout this process is just seeing results and myself on and off the field. I think that's what kind of pushes me to play football, honestly, is just seeing results. I mean, results within the team, results within myself, making progress um, as a player, and obviously just seeing who I turn into as a man. Honestly, I'm just here, just living in the moment, you know. I kind of went through this process at the Senior Bowl when I was at the Reese's Senior Bowl, so just doing a lot of interviews and stuff. But, you know, it's, it's just a blessing to be out here, you know. Everybody don't get this opportunity, so I'm just taking it all in at once. Honestly, just being able to, you know, be around the best seniors in the in the country, you know what I'm saying? And just being able to showcase my talents and showcase the best version of myself. That was the main thing, you know, and just being around a lot of NFL scouts, NFL coaches, you know, learning the, their ways of coaching, you know what I'm saying? And that was that was the main thing that was stood out to me. Well, honestly, versatility, you know what I'm saying? Being able to play the nickel, the dime, both safety positions. That's what that's what I, I could honestly say. And I know all those guys, physical, you know, they're smart students of the game and, you know, they play fast. And I feel like that's the same thing with me. My favorite call that I want to hear, um, anything that has me coming down in a, a, a strong hook, because I feel like that's where my uh, pick sisters come from. Uh, so, like, our call and our defense will probably be like a mint, mint Billy Buzz alert, something like that. You know, just continuous work, you know, never, never giving up. Just keep going, you know, keeping my head on straight and, you know, a lot of support. It was great and, and I'm just ready to get to to get going. I mean, it, it mean it mean everything, you know, that's what I strive for my whole life, you know. All all I've worked for, you know, is here. So I'm I'm excited to get going. Yeah, some what they're getting is, you know, just someone that's gonna be their best every day, you know, come out and uh be able to do multiple things from different positions and someone that's just like I said, gonna work every day and, and, and bring a lot to the team. I wouldn't say I necessarily studied. I've been playing the game since I was eight years old. Uh, so I was taught the fundamentals of tackling when I was eight. But 
who I look up as a huge uh, sound tackler is Cam Chancellor and Troy Palomalu. Very well, man. Um, this is an amazing opportunity. Just to be, just to be here um, at, at the NFL Combine, this is a dream of mine, man, and just continue to soak it in. Man, um, specifically, my first love continuously was football. I would definitely say track definitely helped me um, throughout the football aspect. But, man, just be, being able to um, focus on your technique and um, being able to translate your speed and, and know when to use it specifically and how to use it um, throughout your breaks or also running downfield vertically. Just just critiquing myself as hard as I can, you know, as uh, far as like stand on um, stand, stand more fluid in my hips, stand, stand more square at the line of scrimmage, using my hands more and giving and making sure that I get a uh, receiver a hard time at the line, making making them do things that they usually don't do so they don't get into their routes as fast because, you know, office is a time of game. So just do as much as I can at the line of scrimmage to disrupt that.